today I'm at Cabana Bay at Universal Orlando Resort here in Florida and we're going to take a look at uh, the three different sections of Cabana Bay. It's in the prime value category along with Adventura Hotel. It's really close to uh, Volcano Bay. It's actually within walking distance so if you're here for the water park this is your hotel to stay at. You can't walk to the theme parks from here, so you would need to take a shuttle. I mean, uh, you could try to walk, but it would really not be a good idea. You have to cross several main roads. But we'll go in and uh, check out the lobby today. There's three different sections, so we'll check those out. Also, stay tuned at the end, because I have two surprises to show you, something that really makes this hotel unique. to the lobby. I love the lobby here. They did a really nice job. Very bright, cheerful. It has a retro vibe. The check-in desk. Online check-in is available now, so that's a really nice feature. This hotel does offer luggage services, and there's an Avis rental car counter as well. Which is good if you need to rent a car or drop off your rental car. So you can see mid-century modern furniture throughout. Very colorful. There's two pools at Cabana Bay. They're both really nice. We're gonna go check out the first one. This is called the Courtyard Pool. Lounge furniture outside, that's pretty neat. You can just hang out here. You're under the roof, so you have shade. So it's also called the Atomic Pool. It's early in the morning right now, so it's probably closed. We'll see if we can get in. Nope, it is closed. This pool closes early in the afternoon too, so when it's during off-peak hours or off-peak time of year. But it has a water slide, plenty of lounge chairs, and of course, it has a pool bar and a quick service restaurant. Here is more of the pool, a retro water slide. Just made to look like an old 1950s style diving board. This here across from it is the Thunderbird section. Again, more outdoor corridors. Access to rooms is on the outside hallways. These are all family suites over here. They sleep up to six. They have two queen beds and a pull-out sofa. And there are three buildings here. Castaway, Thunderbird, and Starlight. And as you can see, they're close to the main lobby, which is right there. Of course, this is a beach hotel located right across from Volcano Bay. So if you forgot any sort of swim gear, you can get whatever you need right here. Sun shirts, bathing suits, whatever you need. It's inevitably someone's going to forget something, I'm sure. A bit like my family. favorite things about this hotel is it's a real Starbucks. It's not a Starbucks kiosk, it's an actual real deal Starbucks. Right here, just off the lobby. And it kind of 
kind of fits in perfectly with the hotel because it has that mid-century modern design, complete with mid-century modern furniture. So the food court here is called the Bayliner Diner, and it's a quick service. There are three main options you can choose from, mostly burgers, pizza, and sandwiches. They also have a lot of grab-and-go items as well. For breakfast, you can get pancakes, waffles. And this is really cool. You can buy a s'mores kit because at night, they have a fire pit. So you can buy your chocolate, marshmallows, whatever you need, even the sticks. So here's the seating for Bayliner Diner. As you can see plenty of seating. They have these retro 1950s and 60s commercials playing on a loop, which is kind of neat. And the Bayliner Diner is right across from the pool. So it's very convenient. So if you're at the pool, you can just run in, get a snack, something to eat, bring it right back out. Speaking of pools, let's go outside and check out the other pool. You can see Volcano Bay off in the distance there. That's how close we are. Here's the fire pit that they turn on at nighttime so you can make your s'mores. It's kind of a nice place to hang out. There's also outdoor seating if you want to sit outside. Second fire pit, more seating. One of the coolest things about the pool on this side of the hotel is that it has a lazy river. It's a small one, but it's really fun. Not opened yet, but you can just hop in and just go around the current. Pretty cool. Now the rooms that you see over here in the Continental Building are interior hallway rooms. These are all standard rooms. No family suites in this section. And it is a really big section. This is the, like the heart of the hotel. And then also there's one of two towers. The two towers are standard rooms. The rooms uh, on the opposite side look right, look right over. Uh, they overlook into Volcano Bay. So here is the Bayside Tower. This is one of the two towers that overlooks the Volcano Bay Water Park. If you have a water park view room, go in and check out the lobby. Once again, there are two bedroom suites in here and standard rooms as well. Here, you couldn't be any closer to Volcano Bay Water Park. The entrance is actually right outside, which we'll go check out in a minute. But just a nice lobby, small. It is a bit of a walk to the main lobby, it's maybe three to five minutes. So if you need dining, uh, or want to go to the pool, it will be just a bit of a walk. But the trade-off is you're close to the water park. So if we're looking at the map here, this here is the main lobby. These here are the family suites. It goes in this horseshoe. Here are the standard rooms. As you can see, kind of a long hallway. And then here are the bayside and beachside towers. Literally in this green area, Volcano Bay Water Park is right there. Okay, so I'm right between the standard room section and the Bayside Tower. And I'm just walking out here to show you the entrance to Volcano Bay, just to show you how close it actually is. There's the entrance to Volcano Bay. Right there, you just go through security, through the turnstiles, and you're in. Can't get any closer.
this is one of the two surprises I wanted to share with you. This is the Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio here at the hotel. This is nicer than any gym I've ever seen, even in a five-star hotel, so let's take a look. If you're someone who likes to work out while on vacation, if you want to keep your fitness program going, this is really impressive. This is an awesome place to do it. And again, this is a prime value hotel. This is nicer than most gyms that I've seen even at five-star hotels like Four Seasons Resort Orlando, which is also very nice, but this is actually nicer. And of course it's the Jack Lillane Fitness Studio. So one really cool thing, of course he was a pioneer in the fitness world, especially on TV. When the hotel contacted his family and said, could we name the fitness center Jack the Jack Lillane Studio? They said, sure, not only can you name it after him, but we're gonna give you memorabilia that you can put on display. So here in the gym is actual memorabilia from Jack Lillane, which is really cool. Okay, and surprise number two is that the hotel has its own bowling alley right inside. It's closed right now, so I can't get in, but maybe I can take a look through the window. So it's a, a retro bowling alley, full size. You could even rent the shoes. They have a nice little counter where you can do that. So how cool is that? The hotel has its own bowling alley. Well, that wraps up the tour of Cabana Bay here at Universal Orlando Resort in Florida. I only covered the highlights of the hotel. There's actually a lot more to the hotel, a lot more to see and do. If you have any questions about Cabana Bay, go ahead and use the comment section below. I get notified anytime there's a comment and I'll respond as soon as I can. For now, I'm Darren Whitco with Magical Vacations Travel. You can email me at darren at magicalvacationstravel.com or you can find me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram.